right, sometimes the question will ask you about pressure and volume, or pressure or volume. Um, in the questions when they ask about pressure and volume, it's important that you only look at gases. You'll know something is a gas because I'll denote it with this G symbol here. So we only look at gases that are the only thing that affect pressure and volume. Um, and I have a different analogy for this rather than hills and holes. Um, and the analogy is potentially dumber. Um, think about closet space. Whatever size closet you have right now, if you um, go off to college and you move into a dorm, your closet's probably going to be smaller. When you have less space, when you move to that smaller closet, you're going to have to get rid of, or at least leave at home, but you're going to have to live with less stuff. If you have less space, you need to shift your lifestyle to having less stuff. They're going to shift to less stuff. If you then get a great job and move into an awesome apartment with a huge walk-in closet, all of a sudden you have more space. Human nature says you're probably going to go out and buy more stuff. You're going to shift your lifestyle to one that has more stuff. So that's that analogy works for anything with pressure and volume related. Um, I'll talk about what I mean by space and stuff now. So if you put your hands like this and increase the pressure on the space in between your hands, pretend like you're putting more pressure. You go like this. Now what happened to the space between my hands or between your hands is the space got smaller. So as I increase pressure, for instance, I have less space. If I were to decrease pressure, more space. Uh, if I just say increase volume, well, more space, decrease volume, less space. So for pressure, I think using your hands is helpful. For volume, a bigger volume means more space. What I mean by stuff is moles of gas. Again, only looking at gases, specifically gases. So here in this reaction, everything is a gas. If one of them weren't a gas, we would just cross it out, ignore it for the pressure or volume questions. Um, on the left side, I have three moles of that gas, and it's an invisible one here, one mole of that gas. So for this reaction, I have four moles of gas on the left side. On the right side, I just have two moles of gas. That's my stuff. This is the more stuff side, and this is the less stuff side for this reaction. We always figure it out from the coefficients of the gases only. So for this reaction, more stuff, less stuff. If I increase the pressure, now I have less space. I need to shift towards having less stuff. That's the less, less stuff side, so I would shift right. Whereas an increase in volume, Increase in volume means I have more space, so I'm going to shift towards having more stuff, the left. One more thing. Um, let's say I gave you a different reaction where it was A, which is a gas, plus B, which is a gas, goes to 2C, which is a gas. Okay, in this example, invisible ones there. I have two moles of gas on the left and I have two moles of gas on the right. They're equal. So any change in pressure or volume, increase the pressure, decrease the pressure, increase volume, decrease the volume, any, any question I could pose you, instead of right or left, my answer would become no change. If you think about moving from a closet that you have now to a closet that's exactly the same size, you're not going to change how much stuff you have. I'm just going to bring it all with you and unpack. And that's it.